Hello and welcome to episode 10 of these Cinema 4D Basics tutorials. Um, in this thrilling episode, we'll be covering the compositing tag. Um, the compositing tag is a rather wonderful little widget that you will find nested under the, um, the render tags in when you right click an object. So let's just, uh, let's just make a couple of spheres. Okay, let's zoom in on those. And zoom in on that, and I'll make duplicate that, and here we go. So, um, what we'll do, we'll add a compositing tag on here. Now, we did briefly cover the compositing tag in the object buffer tutorial that we did um, not long ago. However, um, I'm just going to delve a little bit more in depth into the compositing tag to kind of um, delve a bit deeper. So, um, under render tags, you will find compositing, and we'll just release our mouse button and now we have a compositing tag. So there are a few things to consider. I'm just going to I'm just going to create an environment. I I I'm not using my my presets tonight. Um I'm just going to create a little environment for this uh stick a sky object there. Um is that going to give us anything? Yeah, we're cool. Um so basically what the compositing tag does is it allows you to kind of manipulate uh, the scene a lot more effectively. Uh, so, for instance, under the, so we're just going to tag, so you've got your basic, your tag, your GI exclusion, obviously your object, object buffer. Um, I'm going to cover the tag and the exclusion options in this tonight. I'm not going to cover GI, it's it's not really necessary at the moment. Um, so, here we go, right, I'm going to sky, I'm going to stick a floor down, I am going to also add a light, because... I want to demonstrate the capabilities of this superb little tag. Um, so if we just jump in here, I'm just gonna just gonna line this floor up with the bottom of the spheres, which is there, just about. And yes, yeah, so this should have a reasonable amount of shadows and stuff by default. So I've got ambient occlusion and global illumination activated. So let's just move those in here. So yeah, there we go. There's our, there are basics. So now what we have here, yeah, is our global illumination and ambient occlusion acting on these spheres. It is the evening time. I am having a beer, so cheers. Um, so basically, um, if we go into our compositing tag on, say, this one, we uncheck scene by ambient occlusion. We'll now notice that the shadow is gone. If we uncheck scene by camera, the whole thing is gone. Obviously, it's selected in orange where I've done it, but you get the gist. Uh, scene by global illumination, but not, but still scene by camera. You see, it doesn't have any GI at all. Um, if we add scene by air, so you, you get the idea. Um, these basically are pretty self-explanatory. Let's just add a light so we can demonstrate some more. I'll stick that light up there. That light obviously needs to cast shadows. We'll go for our area shadows. And there we have our area shadows. Okay. So basically now what we have here is we have our sphere object and now we're gonna say cast shadows, uncheck that, and it's not gonna cast shadows. Magic. Um, and obviously if you receive shadows, the self shadowing is a another option you can have. So if you uncheck that, you'll notice it won't quite self-shadow. Um, just it doesn't cast shadows on itself, basically. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, these compositing background options here, um, not probably probably not worth covering now. That's kind of if you've got a background and a floor going on. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's that's one of those things where if you're if you're creating like a scene and you want to kind of combine it with a photograph. It's worth just covering that in another tutorial because there's a few camera options and stuff we can cover there as well. So I'll leave that for another one. But for the moment, we'll just go through these options here. And obviously, you know, um, we've got these here. So transparency, reflection, reflection, and um, obviously what we've covered already, ambient occlusion. So what I'm going to have to do is create a new default material and add some reflectance to it. I'm going to remove that, add a GGX, have a complete chrome like, and we'll just add you there. So now we can see our little friend here is reflecting, so this one is reflecting in this one, and our, our scene's completely white, so the chrome doesn't obviously look kind of metallic because it's got nothing really to reflect apart from what we've given it, which isn't much. But it's enough for the purposes of this demonstration. 
So the next thing we need to do is um, we'll play around with the exclusion. Now the exclusion can be kind of confusing because it's it's a bit it's almost a better front the way they've done it because you know yeah <laughs> I'll, I'll explain I'll explain. So in our exclusion tag we have options right. So if we first of all we need to tell it what to exclude. So we're looking at this and we want to exclude say this one yeah. But like the thing is I'm asking this to exclude this and it doesn't I have to ask this to exclude this and then and then we won't see the reflection which is weird Maxon but you know what they're German they do things their way they're very efficient so they, they, they must have some kind of point going on but you know it's a kind of a tricky one to remember it doesn't seem logical to me but I'm not a logical man I'm a creative man so but so who knows hmm so the next thing is um, we have our options here. So this is um, if we want it to exclude everything but transparency. This is the transparency option. You can uncheck that as well. If it's red, it's obviously deactivated. You know, if it's grey, it's active. This is refraction. This is reflection, and this is the uh, the nesting hierarchy because you can obviously like nest objects within other objects in Cinema 4D. So that way it'll make sure it'll cover the, the nested objects. Uh, you can turn that off as well so you don't have to cover the nested objects. Um, and that's, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, we can do some a little demo of the of the um, transparency, but what we'll need to do is uh, we need we'll need to feck around with it a little bit, but we'll give this refraction of uh, the glass, that's fine. And that's there, that's now a ref that's now that's now a see-through glass bendy light object. Um, so if we just move this here. Behind there, you can see now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give this another color so it's a little bit more visible. Because um, we'll see when it's all white, it can be a bit, a bit annoying. Uh, so I'm just going to chuck that on there, and we're going to move it so that we can see. Oh, well, guess what? It's excluding, so we can't see. <clears throat> so we enter our exclusion tag here. One of these will work. Delete. Yeah, you see. So now we've deleted the, and so you can see it's it's refracting. So if you undo that and leave it excluded, you can see there that it's, you know, not coming through in the refraction because we have asked it not to. Um. So yes, that's pretty much the exclusion. I mean, you can kind of get your head around it, you know. Because it, it it's a bit like I said, it's, it's a little bit confusing. But you know, you you, it's, you can just do trial and error. You don't have to kind of know exactly everything. You just just do them both. If if it's confusing for you, I find it confusing. You know, I do find it really confusing. But I just do both and then delete the one I'm not using, and and that way I, I generally kind of find that much easier. So like if we kind of did that, you see now, you see now instead of deleting the whole thing, we can just say we don't want it to exclude refraction, and it is no longer excluding refraction. Um, the transparency is a bit tricky because basically, like transparency and refraction are kind of linked in a, in a non unlinkable way. Like transparency is refraction, kind of in a way, um, because obviously you know when I'm wearing glasses, they refract light, but they also have to be transparent. You can't really have refraction without transparency. So why they've separated these two is beyond me. But then again, going back to the fact that they're they're German, they're they're very exacting engineering minds you know there is there is probably a good reason for it i've never ever needed to like uncheck this one you know I've just yes yeah, it's, it's unchecked by default I, I reckon what it was was a, a managerial decision with a max on somebody just wanted it and they had to have their own way because they would have spat their dummy out that's what i reckon i could be wrong but that's what i think so yeah um so there's your exclusion tag um, and so obviously let's let's just add a little bit of a reflection here and we'll cover the so hang on a second right so I'm gonna right click this copy the color put it down here and my reflection color is gonna be that now but what I really need to do is take this bring her over here or him over here whichever you prefer we don't judge. And now we should be reflecting. 
in the other one. Is it reflecting? Not quite, not quite. Just need to just uncheck the color channel. And obviously it's excluding as well. So if we just um, uncheck the reflection, will that work? Or we need to uncheck the reflection in this one. And now we see we've, we've disabled the exclusion of reflections. And you can see that it is now reflecting. There's all sorts of cool stuff that you can do with the compositing tag. Um, I've kind of, I tend to use it obviously in a similar way to the object buffer at times when you just want stuff to not be rendered and, but you might want the reflections of the stuff. There's, there's a, a lot of ways you can use it. Um, but it's, it's, a, it's a kind of an extremely simple concept really. I mean, it just gives you that much more control. Say it gives you an advantage over say, if you have a photo shoot and you know, if you're, if you're ever doing a product shoot, there is sometimes you get weird reflections that you don't want. For instance, like, okay, so if I was to, if I was to kind of just override this, yeah, here's an example. And now what we have is kind of a weird little reflection. A client might go to me, he might go, oh, that looks weird. Can you get rid of it? And I might say, well, of course I can. But if I didn't know about the compositing tag, I might be like, oh, I don't know, I'd, I'd be photoshopping it, and, you know, using the, the content aware fill or the, or the generative fill in the, in the newest Photoshop beta. But much more efficient to just tell them to knock each other out. Let me get rid of you, get rid of you. Then you see there, we still have this going on, um, but we'd obviously have to kind of do something with the floor to get rid of that. But again, for the purposes of this demonstration, it's kind of um, it's kind of self-explanatory, really. Um, so yeah, um, and obviously, you know, if you, if you have again kind of weird reflections, you get that much more control under this bit and yeah so that that's basically your compositing tag and um, covering the tag options and the exclusion options i haven't covered this because um the, the nodes because it's that's pretty self-explanatory i mean you know that if you you've got stuff nested in it it's, it's a lot you, you might encounter a scenario where you have like a, a pot full of sweets or whatever you're doing like because obviously i'm covering kind of packaging design and, and visualization so that's where i'm coming from and, and I have used it in the past, but it's kind of like, it's one of the things I never really get around to using. It's it's like, I'm, I'm obviously going back to this being the 80-20 rule, um, you know, we just have to kind of cover the things we, we use the most. And um, for the purposes of kind of 3D illustration, I tend not to, but, you know, maybe maybe it would form a part of, of someone's workflow. You know, who knows? But um, for the time being, yeah, um, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. And um, where are we at now? Not too bad. Oh, 13 minutes again. Where does the time go? Okay, so short and sweet, maybe not quite so short as I'd wanted, but um, I wanted to cover this quite quickly because it's one of those ones where you don't really need to kind of waffle too much about it. So yeah, there's your exclusion tag and um, feel free to like and subscribe or if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Um, yeah, and um, I wish you all the best on your 3D journey and uh, yeah. Take care out there and um, smash it. All the best, guys. See you next time.